So I know that the guy is in here, so I'm gonna walk down this side, and the sheriff's over here. Hey, what are you doing out there? I'm sorry, Sheriff Isaac, I happen to be a peeping Tom, and I was hoping I could find you naked there, okay? What, you have a problem with that? Arrest me. <laughs> Technically, he can't, he's a sheriff. So I'm gonna go ahead and bust through this window, luckily for us, nobody- Oh! Well, howdy there, partner. Welcome to Westlingers. I'm your host, Old Falcon the Kid. I'm gonna stop talking away because I'm pretty sure it sounds really ridiculous. But, I'm your host, the bird. My name is Falcon. This is indeed Westlingers, which is a interesting little game. It's a very, like, fast-paced version of, like, a old-school XCOM. Maybe a bit of more of a Frozen Synapse. Really cool little graphic styles. It reminds me a bit of, like, RimWorld or something like that. But it's more of an faster paced level progressional RTS game if that makes any sense but what's really cool about it is you actually get to build your own little like um, cowboy uh, western squad who will go out there and you could you know hold people up for ransom you could make a little bit of like you know bank runs where you're the bad dude robbing banks because that's what they do and um, you get to pillage and plunder as a cowboy in the old west here so let's go check it out here and see what this is all about I did take it out for a spin already so I enjoyed it which is the reason why we're covering it here from the channel so this is the legend of duh this is the legend of the nest because you know we're, we're birdmen obviously I mean, technically, I am, and everybody else is a human that just is pretending to be a bird, but that's, you know, let's not even argue semantics here. It, it was a gang founded by Earl Helm, Carlos Merritt, Ollie Bowles, or Sybil Rowe. So we have two females over here, looking pretty mighty fine, looking pretty thick, I gotta say, man. You got them childbearing hips, I gotta say. Uh, we have Carlos Merritt and Earl Helm. Okay, well, I don't really look too much like a female, so I'm gonna go with, um... I mean, I wish I could grow a beard like this, let's be honest here, but I can't. So I'm gonna go with Earl Helm, babyface Earl Helm, that's fine. None other than Earl Helm, that's not my name though, can I name him Falcon? I should be able to. It was rumored he was the something gunslinger in the West. The hardest gunslinger of the West, the sharpest, the fastest, or the ugliest. Well, let me tell you right now, I'm a very handsome bird, I'll have you know. So I'm gonna say I roll pretty hard though, so I'm gonna be the hardest one. What does that mean? I have no idea. Rattle Crossing Population 3. So, let me pause momentarily. Essentially, because this is more of an arcade type of RTS, speed is very important in this game. So, technically speaking, I know how to do this level and get a gold medal, but I'm gonna go ahead and do it slowly so I can walk you through the game, but technically speaking, after you feel comfortable with the game, you wanna go as fast as possible. You gotta go fast, like Sanic is what I'm saying here. So, for now, let's go ahead and move Earl down through here. So, we have to hunt down the Rattle River... Rivo? Rival, River Brothers, and we have to take the train to the next town afterwards. So there's two of them that we have to kill. Now, I'm under pretty good information that we might have one of them in here, and the other one is locked up in jail. So what I'm gonna do right now, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, take my gun out. If you're out in public, make sure that your gun's put away, because if you have it out, you might draw suspicion to yourself. So it's pretty cool because there's a bit an element of like stealth in the game. Not really quite exactly that, but people will definitely start wondering about you if you're walking around with your guns blazing out and about, right? And there's also coverage, kind of like an XCOM too. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna walk over here, and that's Porter, the guy we have to kill, so... Boom. And since we're behind cover, we're actually very, very well guarded while he wasn't in the open, so we blasted him. No big deal there. Um, you can also pick up guns as you progress through the level. If somebody has a shotgun, you can pick that up if you want to. Uh, you can also leave your friends behind, and you can dance, you can dance, okay, sorry. I had to add that joke in there as corny as it is. You can also increase your squad through the level itself, but you know, we'll, we'll do that later. Right now it's a solo mission. So the next thing we gotta do is, let me reload really quickly. Now here you don't have to kill the... the sheriff if you don't want to. You could. It'll be a lot easier for you if you do that. So there's different ways to kind of go about this. I know that the guy is in here, so I'm gonna walk down this side. Huh? And the sheriff's over here. Hey, what are you doing out there? I'm sorry, Sheriff Isaac, I happen to be a peeping Tom, and I was hoping I could find you naked there, okay? What, do you have a problem with that? Arrest me. <laughs> Technically, he can't, he's a sheriff. So I'm gonna go ahead and bust through this window, luckily for us, nobody- Ah! You're getting too ahead of yourself there, Earl. Luckily for us, nobody heard the, the smashing window as a body just went through it. Which is good. Now, we walk over here, and just take a little peek. Here's the other guy, Maynard. He's probably Maynard James Keenan, you know, the, the lead singer from Tool. Um, and we know the sheriff is right there. The sheriff will come out and blast you if, you know, you start getting crazy. And obviously, since we're about to kill this guy, he's gonna get crazy. So I'm gonna try to do this without killing the sheriff. Um... 
I'm not sure why the sheriff went the other way, but sure. Okay. But um, at the moment, we were able to kill the guys, and for some reason, the sheriff went outside, so... The sound of my body crashing through the window was very much delayed, and he heard it like an hour afterwards, and he was decided to check it out finally. And then he forewent the gunshots, which is the more important thing. I'm not complaining, you know what? I'm not even sure how time and sound works in this game, but it works really good in my favor, it does seem. So that's done. Um, and again, we got a bronze because I took my time. If I go faster, if you do it under 30 seconds, I believe you get a gold, which is very possible. But I'm taking my time just because, you know, I want to explain stuff and we're, we're going to joke around too, guys. I'm sorry to say, okay? I can't be Mr. Serious MLG Falcon. Here we have the next level, which will be Safe Passage. You learn of the Madam of the Hotel's desire to be freed of the advances of the repugnant posse staying there. Secure the Grand Hotel before traveling into town. We have to secure the Mud Springs Grand Hotel and escape east of Mud Springs. And here is our... Banner rewards, gold, silver, and bronze. Again, don't be expecting a gold, because I'm going to take my time to talk about stuff. So let's do safe passages. At the moment, the squad only consists of Earl Helm, so we'll collect him. And his gun will be the revolver, obviously. And let's saddle up, partner. Ooh, it's a really cool little loading screen. Okay, Mud Springs population four. Secure the Mud Springs Grand Hotel, and this is what we're going to be doing very much like the, ho or the sheriff office. We want to get in there, kill the bad dudes and hang out there long as, as long as possible to get the securement at 100%. That'll clear that objective and then we get to escape. So we're ready to go. Let's begin with pressing space over here and let's move about. So this will be the hotel that we're looking for. If you press space bar, you could pause the game in real time and kind of take a look around. So pretty cool little stuff here. If we go after the sheriff here, if I'm right, you could probably get a shotgun, but you don't need a shotgun to clear this as long as you're playing smart. If you to go in there, guns blazing like a cowboy, which I guess would kind of fit the scene, you could do that, but um, you probably won't have too good luck here. So, let's go ahead, and because nobody's around, take my gun out. I'm a peek in here. Nobody's here, huh? Okay, let's peek in the other window. Nathan! Yeah! Nathan's down. <laughs> I love the little ghost dude that pops up. Oh! Woohoo! <laughs> that was Nathan's bro, if you're wondering. So luckily for us, he was going out there to check it out. We got the jump on him. He usually hangs out over here, so I could have gotten around to avoid him. Uh, let's also go ahead and uh, reload, but also holster your weapon in case the sheriff shows up after the gunshots. I don't know anything, sheriff. There might be another dude in here because we're not securing, I, I believe. Let's see. There is the madam. Is there another dude here? I thought there was only two of them. Okay, let's go ahead and take the gun out. Oh, you have to have the gun out to secure. Intriguing. There it is. So now we have control of the madam, and she's going to be joining us, and we could use her now. So I could come over here with the madam, choose her with number two, and have her pick up this gun. Boom. And go ahead and reload your weapon, too, or bring it out. There it is. So she could use the gun to kill people as well. So now that we're done here, let's go ahead and holster. Jewel, please holster your gun. Holster the gun. Okay. And Earl, you holster as well. Okay. Now, because we're innocent bystanders in the shootout, we're just gonna walk on by. We didn't see anything, we didn't hear anything. We just need to get to the exit, which is over here. How you doing, Sheriff Jason? Oh, don't mind us. We're just, uh, we're just leaving, man. We, we don't know anything. And remember, guys, if you play it smart and safe, you won't get attacked, so you're fine. We're just leaving, you know. Me and Jewel about to have some fun out in the cactus field, if you know what I'm saying. <laughs> Alright, mission success. And we got ourselves another bronze. No big surprise there. I'm taking my time. Cool. So that's done. Now we have another mission over here. I do know that eventually you'll have multiple missions with different objectives as well that'll pop up at the same time. So I believe after this one you have like maybe two to choose from afterwards. So here we have the, the Frost Moor. I don't remember you. Jailbreak. Words of an old friend being jailed reach your ears. Free your friend and kill the captors. Okay, so free the prisoner from the jail, keep the prisoner alive, and kill all the lawmen. This should give us our second person to our squad finally. If you're wondering about the madam, she was only a temporary partner for that mission. Um, so you have like an option to have like temporary partners for that mission alone. Have them as sacrifice guinea pigs as well. And then you have like your legit team members for good. And I believe with this one here, we'll be able to get this guy in our squad. I don't think I've done this one, though. I just don't remember doing this one. So, obviously, Earl Helm, Revolver, saddle it up, partner. 
Alrighty, so let's see here. We have the old saloon. Secure the saloon and detect people out of sight. And over here is the sheriff office where we have to free our bro. Down here we have a hotel. We can actually get the aid of another madam of the night. The old confidence of the madam there. And then over here we have a random house, it does seem. Okay, cool. We'll start this off and... Earl, let's walk on down over here. The first thing I want to do is get some help if I can. So I'm going to come down to the quote-unquote bordello if we can. Not really a bordello, it's more of a hotel. But whatever, I'm going to call it a bordello. So she's in there hanging out. Who's in here that we have to wreck? Nobody in this room. And we have Lawrence. Lawrence of Not Arabia. Let's go ahead and take this gun out. Blasty, blasty, he's now dead. And we're securing. So now we'll have the help of Madam Leslie. It does seem very cool. Reload and Madam Leslie, do me a solid. Come over here and pick this gun up. Now, more than likely, we'll be using Madam Leslie for this level. And because she's not part of my permanent gang, she is also expendable. Now, don't tell her that because then she might have an issue with us, um, you know, sacrificing her. But Leslie, go ahead and put your gun away. Earl, put your gun away. Let's go and find out what's happening here in the sheriff's office. And Leslie, you could follow a foot as well. So this is going to be locked, unfortunately. And there's no way for me to break in through the window. We could do that one if we want to. So, Leslie, do me a solid. You come in through here. And maybe you can use your wildly charms to... I don't know. Detract Bruno from over there. Hey, Bruno, how you doing? <laughs> don't mind me. I'm just gonna walk into this room like I owned a joint here. He's not even suspicious or anything like that, huh? Okay. Well, Bruno? Huh? Huh? Yeah? Okay, so now we're gonna be using Earl. Since... He she is indeed distracting him. We'll be using Earl. Earl, you bring that gun out. And... I think the best one would be shoot him through here, right? Yeah. Got him! Oh, God! There's the other lawman. Run, Earl! Okay, okay. So I want to here at the moment. Leslie, I need you to come out here. And give me a hand. Uh-oh. Yeah! Good job, Leslie. We have one more lawman to kill. There he comes. Oh. Oh! Oh, you fool. You might want to reload. Oh, we got him! Oh, that was it! <laughs> I love how... I love how Madam Leslie became the hero of the team. <laughs> I just fled like a coward Earl, and then she took care of everything for me. Well, luckily for her, like, nobody really would suspect her as being the delinquent over here. Plus, I was the one that was wanted. So they were looking for me and not her, which just worked out great. And now we have Almeida freed up, which will be our very first party team member. And we'll be able to use her during our following missions, it does seem. So here's our lineup now. Earl, the prospect, and Almeida, a prospect. What the hell does the prospect thing mean? I got no idea. Can I level you guys up or something, or what? I mean, I've seen you guys pick up some experience, so I guess... Yeah. Vitality, Accuracy, Dexterity, Evasion. I could change your hats, too? Oh, the color of them. Oh, for real? Yeah, yeah, go with the... No, no, go with the green one. Be as wild as possible. And then we'll use... I want this guy to stand out like a sore thumb. Oh, no numbers? Oh. Dang it, Bobby. Don't tell me about my no numbers. I'm gonna spell it out if I have to. Alrighty, Falcon 69, there he goes. I got a thousand dollar bounty on me. Banish him? No, I don't banish myself. I'm the leader of the squad. Okay, and then Almeida. I can rename it to something else if we do more of this. So you guys let me know if you're enjoying this, and we shall cover more of this, and we can do some renames as well. We'll see. Okay, so with that mission done, let's see what else is available to us. We have two of them. We have the Mud Springs one. Safe Passage, which we already did. Here's a new one. Muddy Job. No one ever suspects a bank robbery when it rains in the desert. Okay, so we have a bank robbery coming up, and over here we have the... <laughs> oh, Beaver Creek. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm seven years old. I always laugh at stuff like beaver and wood and anything, apparently. I just laugh at anything. I'm always laughing. Swift Silence, an outlaw we tried to recruit has turned on us. A marshal is arriving by train to escort him out of town. Kill the snitch and escape. You know, because snitches get stitches, right? Uh, let's go do the, the, the bank robbery. This sounds kind of intriguing. So, money job. I need to buy the shotgun for 2000 How much money do I got? Oh, I'm missing $200 redos for the shoddy. So, we're going to have to probably have to... Uh, did I say probably like twice there? We're going to probably have to probably, yeah. 
We're gonna probably have to probably. Very good diction there, Falk. Um, very good vocabulary. Use the revolver right here. Can I do- Oh, we can do that. Perfect. So the shotgun to be next level, or at least when we're done with this one, we'll have enough to buy the shotgun. We can start the levels with a shoddy, which would be pretty cool. So we'll be using them. Let's saddle up and give this a try. Now this will be a mission I've not done before, so here we might run into a couple of issues, so... Population of 10. We're gonna have more people here running around, so secure the Mud Springs Bank. Rob the Mud, the Mud Springs Bank. And return to the horses, which would be down here. Okay, so the Sheriff's Office is gonna be hanging out over here. The bank's down below, and over here we might have, like, a hotel of some kind, maybe? Not sure. Okay, so let's give this a try. Ooh, we got some rain effect and everything, how about that? How about that? Okay, oh, stop, stop. So we have Carrie and we have Dudley. There's a population of ten dudes here, so... Let's keep that in mind, we're just gonna walk around, we're just passerbyers right now. While you're out in the rain, you're asking, oh, you know, I'm just hanging out in the rain. Every now and then, you gotta take a stroll in the rain. Just free yourself a little bit, live a bit dangerously out there, be one with nature, mother nature, all that jazz. Um, here we have a couple of dudes, just um, playing some cards, three of them, to be exact. And... Nobody in here. Nobody here. Don't mind if I'm just walking into your rooms, like I own a joint. I like when nobody asks questions, too. And we have Celia. So we might be able to get Celia to give us a hand by securing her joint. And we probably should start with that, I would say, right? It is two dudes, though, so it's gonna be a bit more problematic. Or maybe we just start off with the sheriffs instead. It's two of them, so it'd be like a two-on-two -two situation. Yeah, you know what? Let's do the sheriffs instead. Now, we gotta find some really, really good... ...places to... Well, you know what? Oh, there's more in... T oh, the sheriff's got a shotgun, too. Oh boy. Well, never mind. I'm just walking by, officer. Don't mind me. Okay, you know what? Let's do it through here, then. And there's the bank itself. Two more dudes. Oh, boy. So we got three, two... Three, two, that would be five. Eight. There's two missing. I know one of them should be the madam, and there's probably one more afterwards. So there's probably another guy in the bank, too, probably behind this wall. Or behind that door. Okay. So... This will be a little bit dangerous, I gotta say. A little bit dangerous. How am I gonna approach this? Alright, Falcon. Over here you go. Take gun out. Almeida. Take gun out. And let's see how this works in our favor. Oh, no, 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 no! Oh, God! I... I messed up, and... I messed up completely. Alright, we, we, we learned a hard lesson there, it's fine. It's fine. So, we gotta be a bit more... crucial here, a bit more smarter with our movement. So, we got these two guys over here, we got Sheriff in there as well. I suppose what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna start off maybe with the bank. This time? Maybe that could work. Maybe what I could do as well is with Falcon. Post up behind over here. That should give you some coverage, right? And then with Almeida. Take your gun out. Falcon, get him. Very good, very good. Almeida, get ready. Okay. Oh, more coming, more coming. Run, 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 run. Get behind cover. Are you guys reloaded? You better both be. Ah! Okay. Alright, we're in danger, but we're, we're still okay somehow. Now. Falcon, reload. Almeida, reload. You guys gotta keep reloaded here. Almeida's almost down. We have also shotguns available. So Falcon, come over here, and you'll be grabbing the shotgun. Got the shotgun? No, no. Pick up the shotgun, dude. Alright, we're fine. Almeida, you stay in the back because you're a bit hurt. I would like to pass this with both of you guys alive. I'm not sure if I have to, but... It's a personal challenge I'm giving myself here. So the bank should be secured now. 
technically speaking, we don't have to kill everybody. Oh, wait a minute! He's dead. Are the sheriffs coming? Bank Rob. Are, are we done? I think we're done. Oh god. Okay, shh, shh. Be very quiet. Uh, put your... Are we are we wanted or not? I'm not sure we're wanted. Because if we're not, we can just kind of like put our guns away. And probably walk out like we own the joint. Okay, just very quiet. We'll forget the, 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 the madam house. We'll forget the sheriff's office. We're gonna walk by. Let's walk on by. Oh boy. Go. Oh, we're fine. Yes, we got it! <laughs> oh boy, that was actually a really fun mission. Pretty difficult, but we got it. All right. Different method worked out this way, so ignore the first dudes in the first time around. Don't get blasted and then just go after the bank instead. Use your proper positioning and your coverage. Pretty good. All right, I'm going to wrap, wrap it up here. I hope you guys enjoyed it. This is Gunslingers, or I should say Westslingers. I mean, we're, we are Gunslinging, but it's Westslingers the game. If you guys enjoyed it and want to see a bit more, you let me know in the comments. Let me know by leaving a thumbs up. Otherwise, all the information for the game will be down in the description down below in case you want to pick it up for yourselves. I will catch you next time.